This season has been another challenging year for the association and the game in Middlesex because of the impact of COVID-19. I would like to place on record the association's thanks to all the key workers who supported the community in extremely difficult circumstances. I would also like to remember those who have sadly died as a result of COVID-19 and give best wishes to those who are recovering from the virus. During the first few months of the pandemic, it became clear that the game in Middlesex would need support to ensure that football could return to similar levels of those from season 1920. Therefore, I'm pleased to say that the board, with the support from additional funding from the FA, we were able to provide free club and team affiliation, free cup entry, free public liability insurance for clubs, discounted personal accident insurance for clubs, free league affiliation and free personal accident insurance for referees. The Football Foundation has continued to support our clubs through a number of funding programmes to support the return to football. This additional support has been vital to those clubs in the National League system, Women's Pyramid or to those that have their own facilities. Despite the pandemic, all leagues in Middlesex were able to complete their seasons and provide additional competitions for their member clubs. We were also delighted to be able to complete our Adult County Cup programme in a short period of time between April and June. Unfortunately, we were, we were unable to deliver our youth competitions as the leagues needed a number of weekends to complete the seasons. Prior to COVID-19, the season has been progressing well and this review will highlight the key achievements across the association. We continue to follow our strategic plan which focuses on the, our vision of inspiring our community to get involved in football. The plan focused on safeguarding, inclusion and diversity, male, female and disability pathways, developing clubs and leagues, embracing all formats and engaging all participants, running the game, Rectory Park, marketing communications, modernise and innovate, facilities, workforce support and development and customer engagement. Our new strategy leading from the front is built on our mission to rebuild, modernise and grow the game for all as we come out of the recent pandemic. Our key priorities for the next three years are to be relevant, fit for purpose and to make equality a reality, to provide a safe, fun and compliant environment for all, to provide a customer-centred approach to administration and deliver a high quality service to all, to provide inclusive and accessible opportunities for all and to be for the good of our community. We want to ensure that Middlesex FA is at the heart of our community and we will continue to ensure that our facilities at Rectory Park are available to all by offering a wide range of activities on site. We will work with us, work with and support our network of clubs, leagues, volunteers, players, referees, coaches and administrators to deliver this strategy and make everyone a part feel part of Middlesex football. The Middlesex staff team have worked tremendously hard in challenging times to ensure the game has re received support and guidance throughout the season. I would like to thank them for their hard work and dedication to Middlesex football. Football in Middlesex wouldn't happen with the thousands of volunteers who run leagues, clubs and teams. We really appreciate the time and commitment you give to the game. Thank you. The review will highlight and congratulate the achievements of our Gra FA Grassroots Award winners. Well done to all of our winners and, and to those who went on to receive national awards. I'd also like to thank our match officials who support and manage the vast majority of our games week in, week out. I wish you well and I thank you once again for the support you give to Middlesex Football.